Hello, I'm Dr. Burnett, and thank you for tuning in to Pilates Place. As you can see, we are not in the living room space today. We're actually in a Pilates studio. If you're interested in attending a Pilates group class, this is the workout for you. I'd like to show you just for a second what the Pilates equipment will typically look like when you visit a studio. So as you can see, we've got our participants lying on a mat. On the back side of the mat, you've got a reformer underneath, and then on the back side, you've got a tower system. Now the tower system has springs that simulate what your joint system looks and feels like. So if you're ever interested in attending a Pilates class, you can go to a studio, a health club, or you can even purchase one online. So with that being said, all you'll need today is your mat, a bottle of water, and a towel. So let's begin. So let's get started. We're in a seated position, and if everyone can scoot to the top of your mat so that way we can lie all the way down, just scoot forward. Now, bend your knees, grab the back side of your thighs, tuck your chin into your chest, and begin to roll all the way down to your back in a controlled fashion. So lie all the way down. Okay. Now, your back is flat. In order to open up your chest, you're going to press your shoulders down into the mat. Feet are flat on the mat. Knees are bent. You're going to press your lower back into the mat and funnel your ribs in. From there, bring your neck neutral. So tuck your chin just slightly. Bring your knees into your chest tabletop position for the 100. So knees stay together. Make sure that your knees are over your hips. Back is still pressed against the mat. Funnel your ribs in, right? So we talked about that in previous episodes, okay? Now, you're gonna tuck your chin into your chest first. Curl up so that way your shoulder blades are off of the mat. Arms reach nice and long and from the back of your arms begin pumping. You're gonna pump and inhale for five counts through your nose, and exhale five counts through your mouth. So we pump, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, looking at your navel. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, reaching long through your arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale. And inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale. We'll do two more. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Last one, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, rest your head. Now, extend your legs alongside the mat for rolling up. Now, if we have back problems or any type of flexibility issues, we're gonna bend our knees. So we're actually gonna use Edison here, bend your knees here, so that way we're protecting our back. And from there, everyone else will press your heels into the mat. Bring your arms up towards the ceiling for start position. Make sure that your back stays against the mat and that you funnel your ribs. So your arms are up towards the ceiling. Arms are up towards the ceiling. Good. Squeeze your glutes together. Press your heels into the mat. Tuck your chin into your chest and begin to roll up into a seated position. So tuck your chin and roll up reach towards your toes, tuck your chin into your chest, protect your cervical spine, which is your neck, and then begin to reverse and roll down through each vertebrae. Arms reach over your head, and then they come back up towards the ceiling again for roll up. Funnel your wrists in, and round up. Reaching forward is our first opportunity to really massage our spine and begin to roll back down. One vertebrae at a time. And last time, reaching up towards the ceiling. And roll all the way up. Reaching towards your toes, tuck your chin, and then roll all the way back down. Good. Once you're in a lying position, press your hands down towards your hips. Bend your knees, feet are flat. You're going to extend your right leg up towards the ceiling for one leg circles. Now this is really great for pelvic stabilization. So we're going to keep small circles, point your toe, 
and wrap your leg. So we're kind of in this one leg Pilates stance, okay? Anchor your hips equally into the mat, rest your head. Anchor your legs equally into the mat and the knee that's bent, make sure the foot is planted in the mat. Arms are nice and long and your chest is open wide. Now from here, you're gonna cross to the opposite shoulder circle down around and lift very small circles with control cross circle around and lift cross circle around and lift one more time cross circle around and lift hold at the top and reverse take it out press down around and lift out down around and lift stay together out down around and lift Bend your knee, place it back on the mat, and extend the opposite leg. Rotate into Pilates stance. Make sure that your hips are pinned down, leg is nice and straight, okay? Pointing your toe, funnel your ribs in. Again, cross the opposite shoulder. Circle the leg down, around, and lift. Circle down, around, and lift. Nice and controlled. Cross down, around, and lift. Quiet the hips if they're shifting. Cross down, around, and up. Hold at the center. And reverse. Out. Circle around and lift. Hold. Out. Circle around and lift. Hold. Out. Circle around and lift. Hold. We'll do one more for good measure. Out. Circle around and lift. Hold. Bend the knee. Place the foot back onto the mat. Now. Coming up to a seated position, tuck your chin into your chest, wrap your hands behind your thighs, and roll up to a seated position. Now, we're going to go into spine stretch forward, which really starts to massage our spine. It's also a breathing exercise. So extend your legs alongside the mat, and open your legs the width of the mat. Okay? Now, sitting up nice and tall on your sits bones. If that's hard for you, you can bend your knees just slightly. Your arms are going to reach out right in front of you. Now, for the breathing exercise, you're going to inhale, so flex your feet. Okay. okay, so sitting up nice and tall, press your shoulders down away from your ears. You're going to inhale, tuck your chin into your chest, and reach forward towards your toes, rounding your back. Scoop your belly button off of your hips. And exhale and reverse. Stack your spine sitting up nice and tall. And again, inhale, tuck your chin and round forward. Reach even deeper. And reverse, stacking your spine, shoulders down. Last time, inhale, tuck your chin into your chest, round through each vertebrae. And exhale, rolling back up. Now, for rolling like a ball, we're actually not going to roll, we're just going to balance. So place your hands beside your hips, bring your feet together, scoot your hips towards your feet. Okay. Now, you're gonna bring your knees into your chest, wrap your feet, so wrap your feet, excuse me, wrap your knees, not your feet, so wrap your knees, either behind or in front, whichever makes sense to you. Point your toes, bring your heels down to your seat, okay? So, if you're at home and you don't feel comfortable rolling like a ball, that's fine. But since we've got professional trainers in here, we're going to test their ability to roll like a ball. So we'll bring our knees into our chest and find yourself in a balanced position. Belly button to your spine. Tuck your chin into your chest. Okay. Now this massages our spine. It's very nice and controlled. So we want to make sure that we keep everything together. You're going to begin to roll back on your back and then roll back up and hold. Everyone, let's go ahead and balance first. Tuck your chin into your chest, bring your knees together and roll back on your back. Rolling back and come forward, hold and balance. Relax your shoulders, Kyle. Tuck your chin into your chest and again, rolling back like a ball. Massage your spine and come back up and hold. And one more time, rolling back on your back, and come back and hold. Good. Place your feet back onto the mat. 
your hands go back next to your hips. Thank you, Stephanie. And scoot your hips back to your hands so your legs are straight in front of you. We're going to go into our abdominal series, which is one of my favorite parts of the exercise because you can't cheat. So you're going to bring your right knee into your chest. You're going to hold and wrap around. Well, let's distinguish what we're doing, right? So you're going to wrap your right hand around your ankle and your left hand wraps around that knee. We're sitting up nice and tall. You're gonna stay connected through this movement pattern. So Jasmine's gonna tuck her chin into her chest, belly button to her spine, and she's gonna gently roll all the way down to a lying position, legs stay straight up. Tuck your chin into your chest, Jasmine. So everyone, go ahead and roll all the way down. Massage your spine all the way down, stay lifted. Holding that leg out to 45 degrees, Kyle. 45 degrees. Point your toe. Beautiful. And switch. And switch. Stay lifted. And switch. Elbows out. And switch. And switch. Bring both knees in together. Now. You're going to lift your arms up towards the ceiling while you extend your legs up towards the ceiling for a double straight leg stretch. Wrap your arms around in a circle and hug your knees. Everything extends out again. Legs and arms up towards the ceiling. Circle your arms around and hug your knees. And one more time, extending everything out. Wrap your arms around, hug your knees. Now just extend your legs up towards the ceiling, wrap your legs in Pilates stance, point your toes. Now if you can, let's try not to compromise the straight leg, because we're doing single straight leg stretch. So wrap around your ankle on the right side. So everyone wrap your right leg, grab onto your right leg. This is also called scissors as well. So legs stay straight through the entire movement and switch legs, stay in your center. Chin is tucked in and lifted off of the mat. And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. Bring both legs up. Wrap the back of your legs in Pilates stance. Your hands overlap. Let legs stay straight. Hands overlap and place them behind your head for a double leg lower lift. So your legs are long and strong. You're going to lower three counts. Lower one, two, three, lift. Now if you can, keep your upper body lifted into your torso. Lower one, two, three, lift. And lower two, three, lift. It's for our lower abdominals. And lower two, three, lift. Last abdominal exercise. Bring your right knee into your chest. Stretch out your left leg. Opposite elbow crosses to the knee for crisscross. And switch. And switch. And switch. Opposite elbow to the knee. And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. Bring both knees into the chest. Hug your knees tight. That's one of my favorite exercises because you get all six layers, or all six abdominal muscles. We've got three layers. So you're going to hold your knees tight, and you're just going to massage your spine just a little bit, okay? So we're going to rotate. We're going to rotate side to side. So you're going to rock side to side, side to side, and side to side. Good. Now, from here, place your feet back flat on the mat. Your hands come behind your thighs. You're going to walk yourself up to a seated position, just like we did for spine stretch forward. Good. Now, from here, you're going to place your, or excuse me, extend your legs alongside the mat so that they're flat. Okay? So, actually, because we're so close today, we're going to have the guys scoot back just a little bit so when we do our, our um, saw that we're not windmilling each other, right? So gentlemen, if you could scoot back just a little bit. Okay, so 
So open your legs the width of the mat. Flex your toes all the way back. Sit up nice and tall. Arms are out to a T position. Arms are out to a T position. Sitting up nice and tall. So we're going to twist towards the door. So twist towards the door. Tuck your chin into your chest and reach your pinky to your pinky toe. And reverse, coming back up and then untwist towards the center. And twist, roll down through your spine, roll back up and untwist. One more time each side and twist, inhale, exhale, rolling down through your spine, inhale, roll back up, exhale, untwist. And last time, twist, exhale, inhale, on, and come back to center. Bring both legs together, both legs together, good. Your hands are going to come onto the right side of your body, and you're going to flip over onto your stomach. Now, typically we go into swan, but I'd like to look at Light first, because this introduces our erector muscles, which are responsible for our posture. So your arms are going to be alongside your hips. Palms are facing up. Your neck is neutral with your spine, so tuck your chin if you can, so we don't have that hyperextension here. Now from here, if you can, bring your heels together in Pilates stance. Join your inner thighs and squeeze your glutes. Now, from here, for your upper body, you're going to neck roll, so you're going to roll your head up just a little bit and lift your chest off of the mat. Hold this position as you reach long through your fingers towards your toes. Beautiful. And lower back down. And again, lifting up towards the ceiling. Reaching long through your fingertips and lower back down. And one more time, lifting up. Neck stays neutral with your spine. And lower back down. Now we'll go into swan. So place your hands right underneath your shoulders. Bring your elbows into your torso. Slide your shoulder blades down away from your neck. Now from here, keep your Pilates stance. Beautiful. Elbows into your torso. Okay, so keep that position. Now, use that neck roll, rolling up as if you have a marble on top of your nose, press through the palms of your hands, and gently lifting up to not too far. So keep your elbows bent, lower down just a little bit. Now, lifting up, looking to your right, circle your neck down around, look to the left, come back neutral, and lower all the way down. Now be mindful to keep your back long rather than pinching your lower back, okay? We'll go again. And lifting up, elbows into your chest. Slide your shoulder blades down your back. Look to the left. To the left. Circle down around and look to the right. Center and lower all the way down. Now from here, sit your seat back to your heels for rest position. Okay, so you're just stretching your back, right? Because we just work those postural muscles, okay? Now, go ahead and flip around onto your back. Bend your knees for shoulder bridge prep. Lie all the way on your back. Knees and feet are hip distance apart. Pin your shoulder blades down and anchor your feet. Your feet are in parallel position. Back is flat, funnel your ribs in, right? So we're keeping our powerhouse activated through our entire exercise movement system, okay? So from here, we're gonna do a pelvic lift. So you're gonna curl your pelvis under and lift up towards the ceiling. Join your glutes together. And massage each vertebrae as you lower back down onto the mat. So Kyle, let's keep your ribs funneled in tight, okay? Beautiful. Now, there we go. Now belly button to your spine. Curl your pelvis up towards the ceiling, working through each vertebrae. Join your inner thighs to keep your knees in line with your hips. 
and gently lower down through your middle back, your lower back, your sacrum, and then your coccyx. Last time, rolling up through your pelvis, lift even higher. With control, lower all the way down. Now, from here, we'll go ahead and skip side kick series and we'll then move on to teaser. So teaser is a really good exercise for control because we just worked on our powerhouse so now we get to look to see what it looks like to bring one leg out of the equation. So we'll start in the, se the seated position because it's a lot easier to start that way than starting from your back. So roll all the way up. Now, with teaser, we'll just start with the basics. So your knees are going to be bent, so probably extend your legs probably about maybe 20, 30 degrees, right? And then extend your right leg up towards the ceiling and join your inner thighs together. So it's one unit right here. Now, Jasmine is going to reach out towards me. <laughs> reach long and strong, so don't hold on to my hands. It's all you, honey. Lift your leg. Now she's going to lower all the way down to the mat. So reverse your curve, so into that C curve. Rolling all the way down, keep your leg lifted. And reverse and come all the way back up. Beautiful. And so everyone will lift their right leg up for teaser one leg. Arms reach out towards the front of you. And round into that C curve as you lower all the way back down with control and reverse, rolling back up. We'll just do one, because it's really challenging. And bend your right knee and switch. Let's do the left side, extending your left leg. Now you want to make sure that your knee stays in line with the other one. So if Jasmine bends her knee here, then she's got to make sure the other knee is joining with her. So that's why we start probably at 20 degrees of flexion, okay? Arms reach out in front of you, tuck your chin into your chest, beautiful Stephanie, and lower down. Working through your vertebrae, one vertebrae at a time, and reverse and come up nice and controlled without using that momentum. Good. Bend your knee. Everybody said yes. Now bend your left knee and relax. Hug onto both knees. Bring them into the chest. Good. And just tuck your chin into the chest. So this is just allowing your back just a little bit of grace so that way we can be able to take a break whenever we need to, okay? So we'll do one more exercise that I really enjoy um, that works full body, and it also creates a little bit of stabilization. So this will be challenging because I didn't tell them what we were going to do today. So stand all the way up on the mat. So find your way to a standing position, and you're going to stand back towards the edge of the mat, okay? Now, at home, if you have any issues with vertigo or nausea and going in different head movements, don't try this at home, okay? So, arms are going to be all the way up towards the ceiling. Feet are together in Pilates stance. Okay, so that means they're in a V stance, fist width difference apart. Their arms will reach over their head in line with their ears. They're wrapping the back of their legs, join their inner thighs, squeeze their glutes. Scoop your belly button off of your hips, funnel your ribs in. Now, we're going to roll all the way down to a front forward position. So tuck your chin into your chest and lead with your arms as you roll all the way down towards your toes. Walk your hands out to a push-up position. Wrap the back of your leg. Curl your tailbone under. We'll do one push-up. So push up, and coming all the way up, walk your hands back to your feet. Heels stay together. Hold in that position. Now, your arms stay in line with your ears. Scoop your belly button off of your spine before you begin to roll up. So begin to roll up, massaging each part of your spine. Arms stay in line with your ears. So your arms are in line with your ears. So we'll do it one more time. And lower all the way down. Tuck your chin into your chest. Massage your spine. Walk your hands out to a push-up position. Wrap the back of your legs so that way your pelvis is stable. We'll perform one push-up. 
coming back up and then walk your hands back to your feet. Hold, wrap the back of your legs, belly button off of your spine, arms stay in line with your ears as you roll all the way up. Beautiful, wrap the back of your legs, follow your ribs in, Stephanie, beautiful. Now, press your arms forward as you grow tall in that stance, all the way down to your hips. Slide your blades down your back. And again, we're looking at our Pilates stance. So bring your feet together just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Toes together. Fist width difference apart. Join your inner thighs together. Wrap the back of your legs. Scoop your abdominals off of your hips. Funnel your ribs in. Slide your shoulder blades down your back. Neck is long. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Grow tall. And one more time. Inhale. And exhale. And we are done. So thank you so much for tuning in to Pilates, please. If you're interested in joining a Pilates group class, just ask whatever health club that you're joining for the Pilates studio. Hope to see you next time and have a great day. I just finished this class and it was awesome. I felt a little bit more mobile and a little bit more flexible, so I would definitely add this to enhance your workout regimen. This was my first time doing Pilates with Dr. Burnett. It was great. My core already feels stronger, and I would encourage all of my clients to take Pilates with me. I've worked with Burnett several times, and once again, she's kicked my butt, so I always recommend her to my clients for core strength, especially my athletes, so I think you should check it out also. I just had the pleasure of taking Dr. Burnett's Pilates Please class for beginners. I must say that I am much more flexible, much more agile and mobile, and I think it could be the missing pieces of the puzzle of many people's fitness regimen. If I have to let anyone know how awesome Pilates is, if you look at me, I'm a big guy, Pilates is not something I do, but taking Pilates let me realize how important this aspect of fitness is for every athlete. If you're trying to lose weight, trying to gain weight, or just trying to help your performance, Pilates is the way to go, Dr. V.